Hi everyone, I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown of our long form editor and how you can get the most value out of it with regards to blog content. So in order to start using the long form editor, head over to documents. Click on blank document. And you'll notice on the left, we have a few controls that you can change. For this demo, let's move the output length to quite a bit. This means that the AI will most likely output between 100 and 250 words every time you hit write for me. Let's head over to advanced options and select the Hemingway model. This is our best AI model. I wouldn't suggest modifying the other parameters until you are familiar with the system. This is generally used by our power users and your output should be perfect without modifying these at all. If needed, we can change the output language to something else, but for this demo, we'll keep it to English. Let's insert a topic to get started. Once our topic has been inserted, we can start writing the article ourselves if we would like to nudge the AI in a certain direction. Alternatively, if you'd like to give the AI creative freedom with the article, simply hit the Write For Me button. The great thing about our Carol and Hemingway AI engines is that they are trained to create and output high quality original blog content. You'll notice that Hemingway created an introductory section over here. And you'll also notice that it created a subheading with a paragraph beneath it. This is how the AI is trained to write. You'll also notice that on that run, we reached 172 words of output. You may at this point just hit write for me again and the AI should output another 100 to 250 words. But at this point, I would suggest that you check the content Make sure it's suitable, and if there are any facts, that you fact check those, those facts as well. If you feel like you need to add a few different elements to your article, such as listicles or engaging questions that you could use as subheadings, head over to the templates tab. You'll notice that there's a drop down here for copy type. And should you be looking for a list of items, you can choose the listicle uh, tool or the engaging questions tool. For this one, I'm going to use the explain it like a professor. And what the explain it like a professor tool does is take a concept or a paragraph or a topic and really go into a copy that is for a higher readability score. So let's see what this does. I quite like this. this and put it over there. All right, so here is another subheading. There is another subheading. Let's do something like this. Let's go to listicle. Now, once you're happy with your article, you can create a concluding paragraph 
And we've got a couple of ways that you can do that. You can use the summary content command, which will take the content that you've written here and summarize it into a paragraph for you. Or again, you can just use the short form tools over here and select blog conclusion. And you can put your topic in here. And what this is going to do is actually give you a nice, I'm just taking this one for the demo, give you a nice conclusion article. can be used so there we go 538 words in a couple of minutes um, I would suggest obviously articles of over a thousand maybe a thousand five hundred words and it really depends on your uh, use case and uh, your target market as well if you have any questions or need any help please get a hold of us by using the live chat feature on the dashboard Now that we've created our article, let's have a look at how we fare with SEO and against other content that ranks well in Google for our topic. Head over to the Tools button at the top right of the page, click on it and select SEO Report. You'll notice that the first thing you see is a graph showcasing the overall SEO score for your content. Blue is good and red is poor. I'd suggest that you browse through the scores below to get a sense of how well your article fares against SEO standards. You'll notice that our readability ease is quite difficult in this regard. Our word count is actually quite low with regards to the standard for this type of content. Our reading time is four minutes. Here it tells you the reading grade, average words per sentence, and how many sentences. It also gives you an indication of your uh, plagiarism or uniqueness of the content, your goal being 80%. This is currently sitting at 86%, and it shows you the tone. Ours is very analytical and contains joy. And if you're interested, we do give the keyword density as well at the bottom. Where you would most likely find the most value is in the Discover tool. Click on Tools again and click on Discover. Now, what this tool is showing you are the top 10 websites that rank for the topic you have inserted for your article. The item at the top is the top answer that can be found in Google when typing in your article title directly in Google search. Everything below it are the websites that rank on the first page along with vital information on how your article should be structured as well as the expected length in order to rank well. Clicking on one of these items will show you the subheadings used on the page. You may use these as a guide for your subheadings with your article. You will also notice a people also ask tab clicking on this will actually show you those snippets of questions and answers that you get when searching in Google and you could actually put this into your article and then reword it as you see fit so clicking anywhere on your article and then clicking on the little plus button will add this in and you may do something along the lines of this which will then rewrite that answer for you. If you're interested, you can also get insights where you can type in a keyword or phrase and select the country. And depending on what you do over here, you will get information from SEMrush that shows the volume, the cost per click, ad competition strength, the global overview, keyword variations that you can also insert and work on, phrase questions that are related to what you just typed in and people also searched, which is from Google. And last but not least, if you click on content and you'll notice that there's an analyze button. If you click analyze, it analyzes all your content and puts it into what it thinks is the correct category, the concepts that you mention and the keywords that you mention as well. All of this can then be used to further better your chances of ranking well.